Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. In today's video I wanted to show you the results that I've got after applying one layer of gesso at the bottom right corner of this other than that finished canvas. Do I see a difference in the white spots and the way the paint lays on the canvas? So keep on watching if you want to see the results. I used this brand of gesso which I will put a link in the description which you can buy from Amazon in the UK and this is the canvas it's almost finished but not for the bottom corner so I made another video about the use of gesso and why you should be using it the basics and the science behind it so I recommend you watch that video first and then come back to this video to see the end result. Alright, now I'm going to skip a couple of weeks and show you how it turned out. So this is an example of the close-up where you can really see the white spots from the canvas. So this is what I wanted to try to avoid by using gesso. If I had used gesso before I started painting this paint by numbers then the gesso would have sinken in and this black paint would have stayed on top so I didn't I would not have seen these white spots. To me it's the most obvious when painting the black shades or gray dark, dark gray but I do see it in some of the other colors as well, as you can see here. Alright, so now this is the bottom right corner and this is the part that has been gessoed. So I want you to focus on the right black part and for me that's made the most dramatic difference. I don't see any white spots here and I love the look of it. At the bottom, the greyish, I do see some, I'm, I'm not going to say it's completely gone, but it's definitely a massive difference. And I'm really happy with it. If I have to be very critical, which I will be for you guys, because I'm trying out the gesso for the first time here, right? For you to see, is that here at the bottom, there's still white spots. It isn't as many or as dramatic as it was with the trace that I haven't gessoed as you can see here but it's still there so probably this canvas would have been benefited from a second layer of gesso but now showing it from a bit of a distance in my opinion it definitely improved the paint by numbers canvas and that I use gesso in this corner which you can see again if you if I compare it to the other bicycle in the painting which here was no gesso used. Then now let's talk about if I found it more pleasant to work the paint on the canvas and this one I think is pretty difficult to address um, because everyone has different preferences but I do think the paint came on more smoother and I definitely needed less paint. Um, so I am a fan <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys this result after I finished. I hope you found it useful and let me know if you have any questions about gesso that I haven't addressed or about paint by numbers in general. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button so other people can learn about gesso as well. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and love to see you around more. Bye!